Hello guys, Abhishek here. In this new video, I'm gonna show you that what is in cookie, how you can generate cookie using Node.js and send them to the respective owner or the client or the user which is using your API or using your website. So first of all, we have to know that what is in cookie. So basically cookies is in a piece of data which is stored by a website on the client browser so if you want to see the cookie in action what we can do we can open your chrome browser so now you can see my chrome browser has been opened and now you can visit to any website in my case to show you the cookie in action i'm going to go to google.com So you can see I have opened a website called google.com inside my chrome browser. So now what we have to do is to right click on the screen and now you can see there is an option called inspect. Now I am going to click on this option. Now after clicking on the inspect you can see my developer tools has been opened and you can see there are so many things but we have to look at cookies. So what we can do we can go to the applications and inside the applications you can see there is a field called storage and inside this you can see there is a field called cookie and there is a lot of cookies like you can see you can click on this so you can see there is a lot of cookies already open so cookies basically nothing but a piece of data which is sent by the website to the browser so you can see whenever i visit this website google.com the google.com send me some cookies and the cookies is basically nothing but a key and value pair so basically you can see the cookie has a name and after the name there is a thing called value and there are many things like domain path the expiry of the cookie the size of the cookie and the many things but these are two things are the main the name and the value so whenever whenever when i visit this website again means whenever i visit the google.com again this google.com can identify me and my client or my browser by using this cookie so cookie is basically used for the authentication purpose so whenever i will visit a website again that website can identify me by using the cookie here is a name and here is a value this is an key this is a value if you have work on the javascript there is a thing called objects and inside the objects you can see there is a key and value pair so this is basically end key and value pair so now i'm going to show you that how can you create your own cookie and send them using node.js to your client browser so let's get started now the first thing we have to do is to create a new folder for our project so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder and the name of the this folder will be node.js cookie generator so now we have to open our the freshly create folder inside the vs code so i'm going to open it by using vs studio code let's wait for it to open now you can see my fresh folder has been opened inside the vs code now to write our code we need a .js file so to get a .js file what we can do we can write we can make a new file called app.js and inside the app.js i'm going to write my whole code so before using the app.js file what we have to do is to open our terminal now you can see my terminal has been opened now inside the terminal you have to write a command called npm in it dash dash y so whenever we are using or we are making a project in node.js we need a file called package.json and this command going to create a package.json file inside my project directory as you can see now i can clear my terminal now we have to install two more packages the first package is express and the second package is, is uuid which is an unique id generator which we are going to generate a unique id and send it to the user so first of all you have to write a command in your terminal called npmi 
dash dash save express and uuid so this command will install the express and uuid in my node.js project so what i can do i can hit enter let's wait for it to download all the dependencies so now you can see i have successfully installed the express and uuid inside my project directory so now what i can do i can clear my terminal and now we can start writing code the first thing we have to do is to import our express and uuid inside our project so we can write constant express is equal to require express and the second thing we need is uuid so i'm going to import the uuid by writing this command so the next step is to make a new express app so to make a new express app we have to write constant app is equal to express so now we have imported the express and uuid and made our application express application now what we can do we have to make our routes so to make our route we can write app dot get and we can write get cookie so basically the route of this application is called get cookie so whenever the user uh, go to this route uh, slash the slash get cookie the user is going to cookie so now we are going to write a sync and we are going to get a request from user and we are going to send a response to the user so now inside this function now we can start writing our code the first step is to generate our unique id so to generate our unique id we can write constant id is equal to uu id dot v4 so now this code is going to generate an unique id every time by using the uuid package so now what we can do we have to send this uh, id to our client or our uh, user which are going to use this route so what we can do we can write response basically the the person made a request from the browser or the mobile phone or the anything the client can use anything the client make a request and we have to send him a response so in this response we are going to send him the cookie so i can write the response res dot cookie and now inside the cookie i have to give it some options or some things like i have created an id here so the the key basically i already told you in the javascript there is an object the object is basically the key and the value so basically object is an key and value pair so like object i have to give it an key so the name of the this key will be id and after the comma i can give it the value so the value of this will be this id the, the id we have generated and now this is all you need to send a cookie to your user we are going who are going to uh, get who are going to use this route slash get cookie route on your website now i am going to run this application on my local host to run the application on my local host you can do app dot listen now you have to give it an port the port i am going to give it is 800 now and callback function and this callback function will going to print console dot log and server has been started so basically when this application listen on the 800 port this is going this application will going to uh, print server has been started means our server has been started our application is running on our local host so now to test this application we have to first of all open our terminal 
and inside the terminal we have to run this code to run this code we can write node app dot js and hit enter so you can see our server has been started now what we can do we have to open our chrome browser now we have to make a little change in our code so whenever we send a response to our user or to our the client we have to end this end this route uh, or you can say we have to end this request by sending him some response so in the response i already sent him some cookie but i have to send him a data so i can write json and in the json i can provide it uh, an object and inside the object i can write status okay which indicates that the route has no problem and it's worked perfectly so the basically what's this route doing whenever a person will make a request on the get cookie route this route is go this now this application is going to create a new id and the id will going to send into the client browser or anything the client are using with the help of response dot cookie the field called id and the value of this id is the that id which is created using uuid and we are going to also send a json as in data in which we can write status is equal to okay so now what we can do we can open our terminal and inside our terminal we can write node app dot js so this command will going to run our this application in our local host so now i will show you that how you can use this route so basically you can use this route by using the postman or the chrome browser first of all i'm going to show it in your postman and then we will uh, see this application also in our chrome browser so i'm going to open my chrome browser oh sorry postman and inside the postman i'm going to give it a get command inside the get command i have to write a url so as i already told you i am running this application on my local host so to run this so to test this application you have to write the url of the local host so the url of local host is http slash slash localhost 800 8000 so basically what is an 8000 so 8000 is a port in which ap our application is running this is, there is an 8000 and now we have to make a slash and give it the name of the route so basically i already told you the name of this route is get cookie so what I, I can do i can give it a name called get cookie and now i have to just send this a request so now you can see in the body i have got some data called status dot okay and you can see there is a new field called cookie and inside the cookie you can see there is a name and this is a value the name is id and the value of which is generated by the ui uuid so this is how you can send cookie to the user uh, by using the uuid and node.js so if you want to check this application on your chrome browser what you can do you can copy paste this url and you can open your chrome browser now inside the chrome browser you have to paste this url and then you have to hit enter now you can see if we got a status called status is equal to ok and you can right click on this go to your inspect now inside the inspect you can go to your application and inside the application you can see there is a field called cookie and in the field you can see we have sent it a cookie successfully to my browser which is an id and the unique id which we are uh, which we have created with the uuid so this is all about the cookie that how can you send the cookie to the user browser and there is one more thing like if you want to give it an option there are many options uh, available in the cookie like you can give option in an object and inside the object you can give it many options like there is an option called max age so basically what is a max age 
मैक्सिज इज द एक्सपायरी डेट ऑफ दिस कुकी लाइक दिस कुकी इज गोइंग टू एक्सपायर इन सम डेज और सम मिनट्स और सम एज एज यू वॉन्ट लाइक यू कैन डू सिक्सटी इंटू मे सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर सो बेसिकली दिस इज वन डे सो दिस कुकी विल गोइंग टू एक्सपायर इन द वन डे दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सेंड कुकी यूजिंग नोट चेयर्स टू द यूजर बाई यूजिंग यू आई डी एंड नोट चेयर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच